Okay, in this video, let me show you how I tie my preacher jig. I got me some white 210 denier. See how the end is? Let me show you how you do a. Let me show you how you thread a bobber. See, it's, it's called a bobbin. Take the end of the thread, go right up in the bottom of it, and just suck, and just suck right through the end there. And see how the end, see how it comes out? Boom, boy. Look how fast that is. Then you, because you don't want to scar this up now. You scar that up, boy, you got a mess. All right, let's do this. Take a little of your cheap brush on. Put a little bit just right there on the collar. Just to hold the threads. Let's start making a base. And then what I'm going to do, what I'm going to show you, take a little bit of the super glue right here. When you make your base, put a little bit right there on the hook, right behind the collar. And then take your thread. Let me cut the tag in off. Now just take your thread. And go all the way down. All the way down to the end of the point right here. See how that is? Right to the end of the point. That's all you do. Then what I do, I take two of these yellow feathers. You see how that's curved down? You don't want to put that on there with the curve down. Turn it over and put it with the curve up. When you put it with the curve up, see how straight that is? It runs in the water straight. You want this to be straight. And this goes right, right to the side of the preacher jig. And just start tying it in, right to the side, just like so. Then turn it over, and get one the same size. See the curve? You don't want to put it in there. You don't want to put it with the curve down. You want to put it, you want to put it with the curve up. See, that's curved down. That's curved down right there. You don't want that. See, when you turn it over, see how nice and straight that is now? It runs in the water straight, just like that. So that's the way you want to put it on there, with the curve up. Go to the other side, and start tying it in. Keep it right down the hook. And just tie that in and put the wraps to it and what I like to do at this point right here once I get enough thread on there that I know it ain't going over which I know this ain't going over what I like to do at this point take your whip finishing tool Take it one, two, three, four, five. Cinch it down. And if you take your whip fishing tool and you hold it at an angle like this, if you hold it at an angle, it'll go right over it just like that. Well, I'm messing it up trying to show you on camera. See? It'll go right over if you do it at an angle just like that, an angle. That's just what I like to do. I like to make sure that thread right there don't, don't get loose and my pillow fall out. Just like that. All right. Now, this is the biggest bucktail I got right here. See, just an old piece of bucktail. But it's got, it's got about five, it's got about five or six inch hair on it. And the way I like to do it, I just take me a clump, just take your clump like that. And hold it like this and just take, pull this. This gets all the little bitty ones out. You don't want that in there no way. Take that out and then 
Then see, they all uneven. Just take your hand and hold hold this loose. And just kind of just barely pat it like that. See, when you barely pat it, look how straight that is. All the ends are straight now. And then I still take, see, they ain't all perfect. They ain't all perfectly straight. Just take your scissors and straighten that up. Just like so. And then lay this on there. My thread, my bobbin down too far. And I just lay this on there. Loose wraps. And then all you gotta do is pull it. See how it's going around? All you gotta do is pull it like that. And it go all the way around the hook. You see how I pulled it and went around the hook? It didn't quite. It didn't quite get to, to where I wanted it to, so all I do is just take this another little piece. See, it's very little, just a little bit, because you want to keep this as thin as possible. Because this is going to be a preacher jig, a herring preacher jig. I got herring in my legs. That's why I'm making this. I'm showing you my way of doing it. Got the bass here, Chase Harry. Yeah, just like I showed you in another video, split the hook. And just stick it back in. Just like that. And then tie it in. And put the wraps to it. Then again, let me show you again. Then again, I still like to take my whip fishing tool. I know a lot of people don't like to do this. Two, three, four, five. Cinch it. One, two, three, four, five. Cinch it. And that's all you gotta do. You ain't gotta put no glue at this point. You don't need no glue. Alright. Then you want to bring the thread back up. Bring it right back up to the ball of the collar right here. And then what I like to do To get me another clunk of hair. Just a little clunk, see? I ain't got a big clunk, just a little clunk. Do it again. Straighten the hairs out. Ain't gotta be perfect. Straighten the hairs out. Take your scissors, trim the end of it up. Take as little hair as possible. And then tie this in right at the top. Because what you want to do again, just like I showed you with mother jig, split the hook. That's the way I like to start it. Split the hook. Because see, see how see how nice and laid down it is when you do it that way. If I don't, it sticks up. That ain't the way I want it. And tie that in. Then go at the bottom side and get you another little clump. I ain't got a lot of hair, so you just a little bit. Take your hand, straighten the ends out just a little bit. See, all of them pretty much straight. See? I mean, I ain't taking off a, what, an eighth of an inch or something? Now, ain't that much. And then put some wraps on it, loose wraps on that. And then spread it around to each side. If you have to pick it up to get over the feathers, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. And then, and then 
put the pressure to it. Now you put the wraps on it. Don't be scared to put the wraps at this point. You see how I did that? See, here's my here's my my wraps back here. You go around it up here. You go to go to the front. Put some wraps. Take it back. Put some more wraps. Then take the three back to the front. What that does is ensure you lock it in. All right. At this point, let's put just a just a dab of glue on it. I mean, just a little bit, tiny little bit. And just something I like to do right here at this point. I mean, just to make sure it's got them hairs locked in. All right, now go back. Go back to your book tail. Get you another clump. Try to straighten them out best you can. Pull the little bit of tiny hairs out. See how that's all messed up? Watch this. So it kind of hold it in your hand like that and just push them back. See how much straighter that is? And all you gotta do is just take the very end right off. I didn't even cut none at all. All I did was cut out them couple of hairs was sticking up. Go back to the top. Put some loose wraps. Now I'm back to the point again. I take it out of the vise. Pick it up. Split the hook. Stick it back in the vise. That's to ensure it lays down. Because you want it to lay down the best you can. And then... And tie it in. Now, let's do the same way like we did the other G. Just another clump. Now, I'm not getting big clumps. I'm talking about this is like... This is like a sixteenth of an inch or something. It ain't much at all. So it ain't much at all. Just a little bitty tiny clump. It's just a hair so long. It look, It may On camera, it may be looking like a lot, but it ain't. It's just a little bit of hair. Knock the long hairs off. Now I got it to the, got it to the side. Tie that little clunk in. Just put a few wraps on it. You can move it around. Once you got that even, turn it around, get you another clump. This ain't hard at all. This is a very simple, easy preacher jig. And it's the juice. This is the juice. I'm showing you the best one I've tied. This is the juice. This ain't building up to it or nothing. I'm showing y'all the juice. This is for my bass fishing buddies. Like the striper fish, bass fish, you know, all that's bass. Striped bass, white bass, largemouth bass, spot bass. This will catch them all. And then lock it in. Uh-oh. Push down on it. Can't, can't push down on it. Can't lean on it. Let's see how that looks now. Okay. Looks pretty decent. Because I don't want a lot on it. I want to keep it thin as possible. 
<clears throat> okay, now the juice. You take this grizzly hackle. See, this is what you call a grizzly hackle. And see, it's real flimsy, a little thin. Get the longest pieces you can get and get your two the same size. Turn it up. Lay it in there. Right down the side. Put your couple securing wraps on it. Make sure it's dead on dead on the side. More more to the top than the bottom now. You want it dead center, but more a little bit more to the top than the bottom. And turn it over. Take my other one. Just lay it right on the side. Put some securing wraps on it. Before you lock it in, make sure it's where you want it. And that's where I want it, right there. And then lock it in. Yeah, I'll take my hand off. I want, want y'all to see how much pressure I'm putting on it. Look at that. And this is a big number five hook. Five off. See how it's moving? I'm putting the pressure on it. And that's it. That's the way I do mine, just like that. Now just leave that feather on hanging off the side like that. I don't put more hair on it. I'm done. Now I take my a little bit of brush on super glue. Wait a minute. I'm skipping a step, ain't I'm getting ahead of myself, trying to hurry up. That's let's lock it in first. One, two, three, four, five. Cinch it. One, two, three, four, five. Cinch it. Make sure you pull it till it won't move no more. And it, just a little bit. Just put a little pressure on it. Make sure you cinch it in there. And you really ain't got to put no glue at this point, like I keep telling y'all. But we are. We're going to make sure this super glue gets down in them. Down in them threads and grab that, grab that hair down in there because this, that's why you want to use brush on. It don't, they don't dry instant. And it's got time to soak in them threads to get down in there to hold all this in place. I ain't never had one to come apart. Never had one to come apart yet. Not a one. Because I've, that's the way I've always done it. Let me take it out of the holder. Move it out of the way. And there you have it. This is the ultimate. The ultimate. Preacher jig. Right here. Okay, let's see how long it is. From start to finish. Six inches. That's six inches long right there. This is the hillbilly. I mean, this is the hillbilly preacher jig right here. I am a preacher. So, there it is. The hillbilly preacher jig. Go out there and catch them. Win them tournaments. Just to do it right here. Like and subscribe. I'm showing you the juice now.